The Battle of the Somme was a major offensive. It was launched on the 1st of July 1916. It met fierce German resistance from strong defensive positions, unbroken by a seven-day bombardment. With a few exceptions, the attack was a failure, and the offensive evolved into a series of major battles that ended with the onset of winter and the exhaustion of the troops in November 1916. Just got the time to write. Today we attack. There's no turning back. The boys, they're all ready for the fight. Yes, I'm well, but this place is like hell. They call it. Tifal Memorial commemorates by name some 72,000 men who fell in the Somme sector up to March 1918 and who have no known grave. It is the largest of the Commonwealth memorials, standing on the site of the most heavily defended German position to be attacked on the first day of the battle, a day when Commonwealth casualties Killed, wounded and missing, numbered more than 60,000 persons. As part of the Battle of the Somme, the 38th Welsh Division advanced from over the bank to attack and capture the strongly held Mamets Wood. During the action, the division suffered over 4,000 casualties. This striking memorial was raised in 1987 to remember their sacrifice. Delville Wood, or Devil's Wood as it was known to the troops, was taken by the South African soldiers on the 15th and 16th of July 1916. Thereafter, for six days, they held on grimly during numerous enemy counterattacks. The original memorial was unveiled in 1926. It commemorates 10,000 South African war dead. The names of the battlefields where South African troops fought in France and Flanders are inscribed on the memorial. Above the entrance arch are the words, Their ideal is our legacy, their sacrifice our inspiration. Behind the memorial is the museum, on the windows of which are etched the battle honours. The bronze panels depict momentous events in which South African soldiers participated during the Great War. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly, scarcely heard amid the guns below. 
We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. To the memory of one million dead of the British Empire, who fell during the Great War, 1914 to 1918, and of whom the greater part rest in France. The last of their number, Henry Allingham and Harry Patch, both died in July 2009, more than 90 years after the cessation of the conflict of the war to end all wars. Thank you.